Minecraft 14 here. Today I'm going to be talking about fidget toys. If you know what those are, it's all started with that craze, the fidget cube that was a Kickstarter success. And then, you know, all the kids at school have a fidget spinner now. So, you know, I thought I might as well jump in on the craze and look at some of the crazy cool things you can do with fidget toys. So today I went to the hardware store, aka Home Depot, but maybe Lowe's where you are or something else, I guess. I think you can hear my dog chewing over there, so... <laughs> Anyways, so I went to the store and decided to pick up some things. So if you don't have a lot of money and don't want to spend maybe $10 on a fidget spinner, or if you get one of these right here, I think they're about $15 for the uh, Ultimate Fidget Toys, what they're called. So, or the Fidget Cube, those are really expensive, about $25. So if you don't want to spend the money on that, you can get something a little different. So here's super, this is super basic. This is about 30 cents for this right here. You get a nut and bolt right there. See? You, do, you can just spin it right there. And this is, like I said, this is really cheap and just something you can throw in your bag and it's a nice little uh, thing to play with while you're studying or driving, maybe. Maybe not do this while you're driving, but there you go. You can just spin it around, get it to the bottom, get it to the top. There you go. That's pretty cool. And that's about, um, like I said, 30 cents, 40 cents. And they have a bunch of different sizes, so if you want something a little bigger, heavier, smaller, lighter, all those different things, just go to your store and pick one of those up. So that's pretty basic right there. Another thing that was about uh, 70 cents right here is a light switch. So this is pretty cool because on the fidget cube there is a light switch you can flick back and forth. But if you just want a light switch by itself, it's about 70 cents. You just hold it and you can grip it in one hand and then... There you go. Flick it back and forth, flip the light switch up and down. And you know, you could always just do it with one hand like so or to both hands. And uh, it's a little louder, so this one you're not really going to want to have in class because, yeah, for one, if you pull out a light switch in class, people are going to be looking at you like, buddy, why do you have a light switch? And you can say, I'm turning on my mind, I guess. That sounded bad. Actually, don't say that in class. And don't bring this to class because you might look weird. Um, and then for a few more dollars, I think this is about $2, you can get the flat light switch right here. You see the one where it's like that. And so this one you can have, like, you can... Go back and forth like so or you can grip it in, in your hand like this like that and then you can go like that and this is a little louder than the other switch they had more quiet switches at the store and they had louder switches and i just picked one that i liked i felt had the best clickiness they have ones that are almost completely silent if you want to go for that and they have every color they have white switches black switches gray uh, tan which is kind of gross looking uh, but they have a ton of different ones, so if you want a different color, you can go with that, you know. Um, so it's pretty nice. It fits in your hand, like so, and you can just... There you go. Scroll your hand back and forth. It move up and down. So it's a nice little switch you can have while you're doing things, and you don't want, you know, your hands to be just going around. So the last thing I bought, this was about $2, but they have cheaper ones. This is a one of those bolts, you know, you see on the locks on the door. You go like this, like so. This is a little harder to just do by yourself. I mean, do with one hand, so you can't just be playing around with it with one hand so easily. Eh, it's not so bad. There you go. But, you know, you can just flick it back and forth like so, too. So this is a little louder, too, if you're in class. Like, you might annoy the teacher, so don't do that. <laughs> so these are kind of cool. I know you're not going, whoa, those are revolutionary. That's way better than a fidget spinner. That's not what they're meant to be. They're meant to be super cheap. Uh, alternatives if you don't want to spend a lot of money or if you just want something that's a little different you know you want a light switch besides having to go to the fidget cube and that was the only thing that really attracted you to it was the switch part of it you can get one for, like I said two dollars or sixty cents even with this one and they all have different colors so you know it's pretty cool and this one's actually a little louder but they have like I said silent ones where you can't even hear the light switch going off so and then of course you have the bolt and nut which is probably the most quiet out of all these there you go, like so. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. I know, like I said, these none of these are revolutionary or anything like that. They're just something cool, alternative, you know, to the stuff you buy online. You can just head to your local hardware store and pick some of the stuff up for, I spent $7, that's all, on all this combined. And, you know, it's pretty nice. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed my dog chewing in the background. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me if you like this video, if you want to see something more like this. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Adios.